maybe your product requires a physical distribution channel. Let's take a look at all the choices that you might have when you start your company. The first one is you might be an OEM. OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. You might have a component, let's say a graphics chip, that goes inside of someone else's laptop. So you might be a graphics supplier to Apple or, or uh, Hewlett Packard. But it's Apple and HP's name and their brand that shows up on the outside of the box. And so while you're making money, it is their marketing and brand. So for a system integrator, you might be selling to a company, let's say you're Cisco, but you're selling to somebody who's building an entire telephone switching network. And this system integrator would take your component, your switches and routers, and actually build out uh, a system that includes devices from other companies, and they add some value-added software and additional hardware and create an entire system for an end user. A value-added reseller might take a computer system, add other prepackaged softwares from other third-party vendors, add maybe some utilities of their own, and sell a turnkey solution to an end user. And so they build less complex systems with less value-added than system integrators, but they could be great partners. In a physical channel, a direct sales force are salespeople that work for you directly and typically sell directly to the end user. Now, if you're delivering a physical product, one of the alternate channels that you might want to consider is the web or online sales as well. So for some industries, distributors play a pivotal role in the distribution of the product. They provide wholesale, uh, warehousing, they provide distribution and accounting, bill collection, etc. And distributors might sell to dealers. Uh, most dealers are just simply storefronts. Some of them might actually add some service or support, uh, but they're essentially an extension uh, of the distribution channel. And they talk to the end users. So dealers might not have a physical storefront for end user customers. But retailers are all about Main Street and talking to your customers. Another form of retailer are mass merchants. So instead of just small storefronts, they aggregate tens or hundreds of thousands of products under one roof. Retailers and mass merchants often, though not always, get their products su uh, supplied through distributors. 